In his last four starts, John Lackey has truly been dominant. Why he can make such a big difference for the Red Sox down the stretch. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. Coming into the season, I talked about John Lackey and his presence on the Red Sox roster and how this guy was so unfairly treated since the day he got here in 2010 when he signed that five-year, $85 million contract under Theo Epstein. And quite frankly, as we talked about, Lackey has been hurt for his entire time in Boston before this season, and he's never been able to be the pitcher that he was as a member of the Angels, namely a frontline number one type starter. He just hadn't been healthy. But coming into this season and coming off Tommy John surgery, Lackey, I felt, had the potential to have a big season for the Red Sox and really be a key piece for them in their rotation. And he's turned out to prove me right, particularly in his last four starts where he has really started to pitch like the ace that he once was with the Angels. He's getting that fastball up into the mid to high 90s at times now. His command has been excellent. He doesn't walk people. He has dominated games, and he has given the Red Sox what they need right now at this point in the season with their ace, Clay Buckholes, injured, and John Lester trying to find a consistent way to be the pitcher that he once was as a member of the Red Sox. So Lackey is coming up big for the Red Sox here in midseason, and it's a huge thing, and I'm very happy for John Lackey because the bottom line is, as I've said, the fans simply were not fair to this guy, knowing what we now know about all his injuries throughout his time in Boston. Now he's healthy, and it shows. He has taken the reins, and he has been the horse in this rotation. It's something that he loves to do throughout his career, and it's funny how the performance that he's put up in the last few weeks has quieted all the critics. No longer do you hear how he's a clubhouse cancer, how he's exerting a negative influence on young players. Instead, it's just about the pitching for Lackey. And even after his start the other night against San Diego when he pitched brilliantly, one of the first questions he was asked by the media was, what is your feeling about the fans and performing for them right now? And he, he basically really had no answer. He said, listen, I just want to go out there and pitch the way I used to pitch as a member of the Angels. And the love from the fans will come, is basically what he said. And I think it's a good way to approach things. Lackey, throughout baseball, we've heard he's a, he's a leader in the clubhouse. He was with the Angels. He seems to be now again with the Red Sox. There's no more talk of chicken and beer. And you conv- combine Lackey's ability to recover from his injury with the presence of John Farrell and Juan Nieves helping him with his pitching. And it all adds up to a huge addition for the Red Sox in the rotation. It's going to be huge going forward. Because if he can continue to pitch this way, once Buckholes comes back and Lester looks like he's gotten better in his last couple starts, you're going to have a big three in that rotation. And that's going to go a long way towards allowing the Red Sox to complete their goal of winning the AL East and maybe more in the American League playoffs. So for you guys out there, as you evaluate John Lackey's season, your thoughts on his performance so far. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about This Week in Red. And don't forget to check out my blog at BowSoxInjection.com.